Today's video lesson is brought to you by the Tennessee District Attorney's General Conference Information Systems IT Training Department. Thank you for watching. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how to install Justware and how to correctly log into Justware. The reason for this, maybe if you are working in multiple offices and you go to uh, your non-stationed office and you need to log into a computer and get to Justware, you may not have the application installed in your profile. So basically when you log on to that computer, you might not see Justware or the icon that's normally put on your desktop. So we're going to show you how to actually get everything set up. As well as logging into Justware, there's a certain procedure that your username will need to be uh, typed in as where there's a domain prefix and a backslash before your username. If your password changes and you have the automatic setting on Justware enabled, of course, when your password changes, your password trying to log into Justware is stored. When you change it, it will not move along with it. So you will need to retype your password and or potentially your username. So there is some confusion sometimes whenever you have to do that in the exact username that you have to type in there, including the domain. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now when you need to install Justware, the best thing to do is just go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. That should, while you are logged into the domain, should take you here to our intranet page. That can be found at intranet.com tndagc.org when you get to this site just look for the justware icon that's used with the site that is the folder with the two attorneys once you click on that there'll be some information within the page here you may want to read this as this does change and over here to the left you have district installs, user guide, and submit a Justware ticket. In this video, we're going to be using the district installs because we're wanting to install the program. Go ahead and click on district installs, and that will take you to your Justware district selection. This is, of course, according to the district office or district number that you work in, and these will be a direct link and enable you to be able to directly connect to that database. So once you click on that certain link, you should see the opportunity to be able to save that or open. In this case, where you're going to cancel because I'm going to be connecting to a different one. And once you do that, you should be driven to a page similar to this and we are just going to go ahead and launch the application if you chose to run it you would have a similar option but you would have a just a very brief difference once everything gets loaded and installed on my computer you'll be driven to the logon screen now, this is where we want to make note because you do have the domain and a backsla backsplash put in before your username goes in. And that looks exactly like this. You'll have the domain, which is the TNDAGC domain, with a backsplash. And that is uh, the key directly underneath your, or backslash, uh, directly underneath the backspace button. And then your username. So that whole thing is TNDAGC backslash username. And in my case, I'll go ahead and type that in here, get logged in. Now before you do log in, you may, if you want to make this easier on your life, go ahead and select Remember Me on this computer and click log in. And as you will see, we are currently logged into Justware. And 
and that gets us exactly where we need to be. So from there, you should be able to operate and work within just where and have no issues whatsoever. However, if you do, if you have any problems, you can always create a service desk ticket by going to servicedesk.tndagc.org. Or, of course, you can go back to the intranet page. You can submit a JustWare request, log in to the site with your current username and password. And this is actually without the domain information. This would just be your current username and then your password. And you can create a service desk ticket. We are certainly here to help you anytime. Please do that. We have technicians available to service any of your needs. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.